the plum pudding model was a model of the atom that incorporated recent discovered electron and this was proposed by the great scientist jj thompson is a physicist so thompson atom model suggests that the matter will have a plum pudding model which will have a lot of electrons with the positive stuffs in each thompson has discovered the electron in 1897 the plum pudding model was abandoned after discovery of the atomic the great nucleus which got the proton and neutron in it let's move for the thomson atom model from the discharge of electricity through gases it became clear that an atom consists of positive and negative charges So it's a spherical cloud of positive and negative charges with electrons in it. Moving further you are able to see the positively charged matter it's surrounded and it got lot of negative charged electrons. JJ Thomson tried to explain the arrangement of positive charge and the electrons inside the atom. According to him an atom is a sphere of a positive charge having a radius of the order of 10 power minus 10 meter The positive charge is uniformly distributed over the entire shape and the electrons are embedded in the sphere of positive charge And this is taking care of conducting the electricity forming a positive ion the positive charge inside the atom is equal to the total negative charge carried by the electron so that every atom is electrically neutral so according to thomson if there is a single electron in the atom the electron must be associated at the center of positive sphere for an atom with two electrons the electron should be situated symmetrically with respect to the center of the sphere therefore opposite sides of the center at a distance of r by 2 where r is the radius of the positive sphere in a three electron system of the atom the electron should be at the corners of a symmetrically placed equilateral triangle the side of which was equal to the radius of the sphere in general the electrons of an atom are located in a symmetrical pattern with respect to the center of the sphere it was suggested that the spectral radiations are due to the simple harmonic motion of these electrons on both sides of their mean position this electron is of size sorry the atom is of size 1 angstrom and which is equal to 1 lakh or 100000 femtometer of fermi if we talk about the drawbacks of your thomson atom model according to electromagnetic theory the vibrating electron should radiate energy and the frequency of the emitted spectral line should be same as the electrons so the electrons are moved to the high end energy orbit from low energy orbit so from one energy orbit to another orbit if it moves a vibrating electron a radiation is created So in the case of hydrogen atom Thomson model gives only one spectral lines of about 1300 angstrom but we got beyond 1300 angstrom angstrom in the absorption spectrum